We begin tonight with the most high-profile, high-interest police investigation in the country. The RCMP probe into that $90,000 deal between Senator Mike Duffy and the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff at the time. Tonight, we can reveal some of the people the Mounties have questioned and what they're asking them. This is no ordinary investigation, and the stakes are critical, as the CBC's Lori Graham tells us tonight from Ottawa. Lori. Peter, it's the largest police investigation involving parliamentarians in decades. It's extensive and detailed. The focus? That secret deal cut inside the Prime Minister's office between Senator Mike Duffy and Nigel Wright. Among the tourists who flock to Parliament Hill every summer to see where Canadian laws are made. I think it's just such an icon for the country. I just want to see the Parliament buildings. I mean, this is the seat of government and it's just so exciting. This summer, some Mounties were here too, including Corporal Greg Horton, investigating whether any laws were broken. CBC News has learned Horton questioned at least four senators, all in separate interviews, all on that same topic. Conservatives David Tkachuk, Carolyn Stewart Olson, Marjorie LeBreton, and Liberal Senator George Fury. Some of the interviews took place here in the stately Francophony room. CBC News has been told Horton arrived with at least one other Mountie, and each senator was accompanied by a Senate lawyer. Some of the interviews lasted over an hour, and the questions were pointed, including who controls the Conservative Party fund? Was there a separate fund controlled by the PMO? Wright gave Duffy $90,000 to help him pay back questionable expenses while Wright still worked in the Prime Minister's office. He maintains he used his own money, but Horton remained skeptical. So there's no cash in the Prime Minister's office, Horton asked? The PMO answer has always been no. Sources say Horton also wanted to know more about that watered-down audit report on Duffy, why it was altered, when, and who decided to go easy on him. Tkachuk and Stuart Olson altered the report because they say they believe Duffy used his own money. Horton's skepticism about this arrangement was made clear in a document filed in court. I believe that there was an agreement between Duffy and Wright involving repayment of the $90,000 and a Senate report that would not be critical of him, constituting an offense of frauds on the government. Uh, Tkachuk has admitted he was in contact with Wright during the audit process of Duffy, but he said he never felt pressured to change the audit report. Every report in the Senate is changed. Tkachuk and the other senators were interviewed as witnesses in the investigation. RCMP have not yet interviewed Duffy or Wright, likely because the investigators want to talk to everyone else first. Peter, the kinds of questions, the tone of the interviews and the wide range of witnesses suggest this is not just a routine investigation, but one that is intense and ongoing into whether there is a case for charges of breach of trust and influence peddling. Now, a lot of names there, Lori, but uh, not the Prime Ministers. Are the Mounties going to interview Stephen Harper? That's a good question, Peter. We don't know. But what I have been told tonight by a source close to the investigation is that the RCMP has not contacted the Prime Minister yet. All right, Laurie, thank you. Laurie's on Parliament Hill tonight.